Okay, welcome back to part three, um, learning how to program a game with Slick 2D. So I'm going to go back into my folder that I have on my desktop, Game Program with Slick 2D, and I'm going to open Eclipse folder and open Eclipse, okay, which I already did. So I'm not going to do that, but you need to. Here we go. So I got Eclipse open. So this is where we left off. We created our first project. We right-clicked, went to Properties, and we got the libraries all set up, okay? So let's get started. Um, what we're going to do now is right-click on our project, go to New Class, okay? And I'm going to name the class Main, capital M-A-I-N. I'm going to hit Finish, and I get this public class Main, okay? Now, um, I want to do a couple things. Um, in order to get Slick2D to work, um, I've already imported everything. One of the key things I got to do is right now I'm going to extends basic game. And this basically just says, it tells uh, you know Java that I'm going to be a basic game from Slick2D. Now, to fix this error we have right here, you're just going to hover over basic game, and you're going to choose the option that says import basic game, org.newdon.slick. And you'll get a little import up there, and that fixes that error. Um, to set this first project up, we're going to be fixing quite a little bit of errors, and we're going to let Eclipse do a lot of work for us to set up a lot of this project, okay? So, we write, we just hover over that, and we import Slick Basic Game. Now, I'm going to click on this, and my option, it says, one quick fix available, add constructor. So, I'm going to choose that option. It creates a constructor for me, okay? I still have errors, so I go back to main, and then I'm going to choose to add unimplemented methods. Okay, so we just did a lot, all right. Um, well, actually, Eclipse did a lot, all right. So I'm going to create one final method of my own to get this up and running, and that's probably the most important method. It's public static void main string args. Now, I'm going to try and teach you about Java as much as I can as I go here a little bit. Well, let's bring this brace up here a little bit as I go because uh, it's kind of required. All right, so I'm not going to delve too much into the Java language. You can, I'm sure, search on Google for, you know, Java tutorials and all kinds of stuff. But I'm going to put a comment up here for main. Comment two forward slashes, completely ignored by the computer. Um, just little notes for us. I'm going to put a comment right here that says, uh, public static void main, um, this is where execution starts. So it's a very important block of code, and, and we call them methods in uh, Java. Okay, so it's very important method and it's where execution starts. Now, here's just required. I'm going to go through this a little bit um, quickly because uh, some of this is kind of like stuff they are black boxes. Like you don't really need to know how they work, you just need to know you need them. Okay, especially at this point in time when we're just starting to learn uh, game programming. So, first is um, app game container. I'm going to call it app equals new app game container new main and then this is my title of my game okay so I'm gonna start this with first slick 2d and then put a semicolon on the end of it alright the air you're gonna get is just gonna hover over that and choose the import app game container org dot new don dot slick go ahead and import that and then you have a new air you got to hover over that, and I'm going to choose to add throws declaration. That's going to add a little piece of code up here, and my errors are gone. All right. Now, I know I'm going really fast, so uh, you can pause this video and catch up anytime, okay? So I got that app game container. I'm going to do um, app dot um, set display mode. It's right there. Um, the first part is how large I want the screen in width. I'm going to put 800 this is all in pixels so 800 pixels wide 600 pixels for the height and then this will be true or false I'm gonna put false false means it's not full screen if you put true it will be full screen okay but we're gonna start with false and then I'm gonna start the app okay so very simple okay all I've done so far is this creates you know this is just a requirement it's part of slick 2d the app game container and it's going to allow you to construct a new window. And to do that, I just need this piece of code. The only thing I need to do is supply this name. All right. 
After I've done that, I decide right here by display mode, my width, my height, and I put false for not full screen, and then I start the app, okay? So if I run this right now, we have a game window. Congratulations. So this is where we're going to put all our game graphics and stuff like that. Up in the top left, this FPS is frames per second. Um, right now, it's at about 500 frames per second. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later, but uh, yours will probably be much higher than mine. You know, I'm recording this, I'm doing audio, video, I'm uploading a video right now, so I'm doing a lot on my computer, so mine's a little low at 500. Usually you'll hit about 800, 900 even, on a really good computer nowadays, all right, at least with this blank screen. Okay, so let's draw something now. Um, this is just going to be required every time. That starts the app, and I can change the size anytime by changing these two values. Okay. Um, what we're given by Slick is three methods. This first one's called render. Okay, and I'm going to erase what they put here. I put my own comment. Um, draw all the graphics. This this one method is responsible. This is where I want to draw every single graphic I have. Okay, um, and then. And Nish, I'm going to erase this, and this is going to be where you load all fonts, graphics, sounds, etc. So we're going to load all our stuff in there. And then update is going to be like our game logic, okay, like our AI, artificial intelligence, um, user input, stuff like that, okay? Uh, just, I mean, I'm going very basic. There's a lot to game programming, okay? And there's a lot that I'm kind of glossing over right now. Um, but this is just a, an introduction to Slick, all right? Just to get you started. Um, I'll do some more advanced stuff a little bit later. Um, but this series right now, i um, just going to do something really basic, okay? Let's make a full game, um, but stick to the basics, all right? So in render, I'm going to go to game container. And by default, it names the game container for this method arg0, which is, which is kind of ridiculous. I'm going to call it GC, because that makes more sense. Game container, GC. And for graphics, it calls it arg1, because it's the second argument. Okay, So um, I'm going to rename this G for graphics. Okay, Now, I'm going to talk about this graphics G real quick, and how important it, it is. It's very important. I didn't even say important correct there. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, so graphics G. What's the deal with graphics G? Okay, here's what we got. We got our monitor, and we got a game window on our monitor. All right, and then we have our code sitting right here. Now, what I want to be able to do is go from my code and be able to put things on the game window. Ah, look at that. So I got a little arrow pointing to the game window. I want to be able to go from code and put graphics on the game window. To do that, I'm going to use G. So, for example, I can say G dot draw oval, okay? And it will put an oval on this game window. So, basically, what G is, it's a graphics. So, it says right here, graphics G is the communication pathway between your code and the game window. So, you have to think of graphics G, okay? Graphics G is the pathway from your code to the game window. So, you have to go through G to draw anything on the game window, all right? So, let's take a look at drawing something on the game window. So you already saw right now, let's start with something very simple. G dot, and then I'm going to choose draw oval. Okay, and Eclipse already fills out a lot of stuff for me. It's going to say, okay, to draw an oval, I need four arguments. Okay, four pieces of information. In Java, we call them arguments. I need first x1, that's the location where you want to put the oval, 200. And then I just hit tab, it goes to the next argument. I'm going to put Y1 at 200, and I'm going to tab again, and I'm going to put the width at about, well, let's go 100, and let's go a height of 300, and it doesn't really matter what you do here, but let's see what happens. So by using G, that's my communication pathway between my code and the window, so I'm hoping that G dot draw oval will put an oval at 200, 200, 200x, 200 200y, 100 width, 300 height. Again, all measured in pixels. So there's my oval. Okay, it's at 200, 200, and it's what did I say? 100 width and 300 height. Okay, and I can also instead of draw oval, just change the draw 
to fill oval and you will get a filled in oval. Notice that it's white. Everything is going to be white by default. Okay. So I'm going to go over a couple things here and, and draw, you know, the first four things. We call these graphics primitives. Okay. The earliest four things we can draw. So I'm going to fill an oval. Um, I'm going to fill a rect. And again, well, I'm going to go back now. Okay. Fill rect. And that's going to take, a, again, x, y. So I'm going to put it to the left right there. And let's go 100, 200. You know, I'm just basically guessing here. Okay. Educated guesses. So I got an oval and I got a rectangle. Okay. So I can do that. All right. Um, I can also do a fill round rect. All right. And what that's going to do, I'll put that at 500, uh, 200 with a width of 100, a height of 50. And then the last thing is the corner radius. The corner radius is how much curve you want around the corners of the rectangle. So you'll see here, I get a rectangle that's with rounded corners here. And if I change this 30 to a higher value, I'll get a, a more round corner. If I change it to a lower value, I get a lower corner. So if I say 10 and rerun it, it's less of a round, less of a rounded edge there. Okay. So I could do fill oval, fill rect, fill rounded rect. I can draw a line. And for draw line, let me go back. Ah, oh, I keep misspelling it. Okay. I can draw a line. There we go. And to draw a line, you just need two points. So I need x, y. I'll start at 0, 0. And I'll go to 800, 600, x, y. That should go across my whole screen. All right. So now I got a line across my whole screen. If you don't, I mean, I'm going to go over these coordinate points um, a little bit later, probably in the next video. So if you don't understand the coordinate points right now, that's completely fine. I just want to go over the things you can do. And the last thing is you can draw string. And a string is text. So in programming, we call strings text. So I can put in quotation marks any text I want, like welcome to slick 2D. And then I'm going to give it a location. I'm going to put it at about 400, zero in the y direction. All right. And I'm going to run that. And now I have welcome to slick 2D up top. All right. So these are the four things that I can do. I got ovals. I got rectangles. Okay. I can also do round rectangles. I'm counting that as one. The third one, this line. And the fourth one, this string here. Okay. So I got four things I can do. They're all in white right now. I'm going to go over this coordinate system in the next video. Okay. And we're going to look at how to change some color, do some court and learn this coordinate system. And uh, we'll get going on our next thing. But at least now, You've got something to show for your effort. You've got a window up. You've got some graphics primitives up. Okay, and so we're on our way. Okay, I'm gonna put a, a link down in my dis in the description of this video to a wiki I'm working on, which is kind of coinciding with this uh, this video game. I got a lot of like basically a lot of notes that I do myself up there about you know the graphics primitives, color coming up, and all that kind of stuff. So I'll put a link down in the description. Go check that out. Um, if you have any questions. And of course, you could always look up Slick2D on Google and get some more references. Okay? So this is part three. We got some graphics primitives on the screen. And in the next couple episodes, we're looking at uh, adding some color, changing some color, and learning that coordinate system. All right? Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. My name is Mickey Elray.